Hello. Um, I'm doing an impromptu unboxing. Um, so, hello. Um, this is impromptu. But I have this unboxing, and it's 7 o'clock my time, and both my kids are asleep. And uh, I figured, what better way to celebrate other than sleeping than opening a box from Shop Goodwill? I think, I don't even remember. This is a mystery box. Either way. Um, I know I had an influx of new subscribers today because um, Margaret from Texas Gal Treasures had uploaded the speed date video. And um, that's kind of another thing is I wanted to come on here and say hello and welcome. And my name is Devin. Hi. Um, I was so excited that, hi Cody. I was so excited that I didn't even grab anything to open up my box with. <laughs> so, hi, hi. Well, thank you so much. Um, so my handy dandy husband will help me with this. So what I was thinking about doing today is, hi, hi. Um, if any of the items you see in my unboxing, I'll go ahead and uh, do like kind of like a buy it now format. Why not? Um, hello. Yes, I'm a little bit uh, more put together than I was on Lisa's channel. Uh, Lisa Flippin' Crazy had asked me to uh, go on her channel the very last minute. I guess there were some complications with her co-host and uh, I was able to go on there for a second. So um, I wanna go ahead and show that this box, I have just worked on opening it right here, but it was closed. Um, hi, hi. It was closed. So I always like to do an unboxing um, and show you that um, what everything comes out of it. Um, sometimes you get unboxers and like you get, I don't know, sometimes the stuff in there is just too good to be true. So I like to keep it real because not every time you're going to get gold and magic. And, um, you know, when I passed the fourth grade and learning how to use scissors. Um, <laughs> so here we go. I don't remember what this box was, to be honest, but it looks like a mystery box. So it looks like this is what it is. And then this was in the bottom of the box, just like this. And there was nothing else in there. It's an empty box now. Yippee. So. I never remember what's supposed to be in my boxes. I guess it's uh, one of the exciting things that I do. Um, right on. I'm going to try to keep up with the chat while I do this too. So, um, This is Crystal Swarovski End Caps Crystal Energy. This looks brand, well, <laughs> like this looks brand new. Um, I guess because it does, it is brand new. Um, Crystal Energy. I don't really know anything about it. It looks still new. I hate to like open it up. Oh yeah. Looks um looks pretty new to me. So I just want to touch it. End caps. So I guess Christy Christy. <laughs> Christy's Crystal Swarovski end caps. So these are all the crystals. It's really cute. Oh, okay. So I'm obviously not a girly girl. I'm just manhandling this. So um, since I'm kind of going to try this whole thing out, uh, let's see here. Let's do this one if you're interested in a buy it now for $12.00. Brand new in the box. <laughs> I'm the only one who's opened it thus far. Uh, the magic word will be crystal. The, this is really pretty. Um, I'm not a bling gal per se. Crystal energy is worn to promote wellness and as a reminder to stay balanced. So that's actually really pretty. 
Um, I like the kind of like lariat or adjustable here. I really like that. So crystal will be your magic word if you're interested in this guy. Very cool. Very awesome so far. Um, that's probably it for the night uh, as far as um, awesome things that I'm going to get. <laughs> um, this is a boxed scarf bracelet. It was originally 50 bucks. I don't know. I don't know. But here it is. It's not taped or anything. It's loose. So I'm, I'm just going to be that gal and open it up. Oh. Oh, it was like smooshed in there. Okay. Oh, it's a clamper. So it's a clamper around. It feels soft. I don't want to say it's silk because I have no clue. This is how it how it goes in there. We'll do this one the same. This one's a buy it now for $12. Magic word will be scarf. So that's what we'll do. If you're into it. And this is a scarf. Cool. Okay. Brilliance. I don't think I've ever gotten stuff this fancy before. Uh, crystals by Swarovski. And you know, sometimes I just go in blind rage into Shop Goodwill. And I'm just like, you know, let's go. Let's get nuts. Um, so half the time, I don't remember what I end up getting. Um, but I mostly look for natural stones because that's the things that I enjoy. So, okay, here it is. Hello. Um, let's get this into focus because it's really pretty and it's in there. Like it's, it's brand new. Like it's never been, they have these little, um, have these little black things in here. Let me see about getting my focus. I might need to clean my camera because I did move it. So up close and personal shot. Here we go. I'm cleaning my camera. There we go. And here we go. So it says inspired on here. There's a better shot. So it says inspired. You've got all these crystals. And then you have like angel wings. Pretty similar. And then it's got crystals on the other side of here. Ah, there's the rub. It is. Is it missing one? Yeah, it's missing one. It's missing one crystal right there. Do you see it? It's not very noticeable, but it's right there. So, with that being said, we'll do this one as a buy it now for $8. The magic word will be brilliance. Okay, cool. A lot of stuff in boxes. I'm not, it's like Christmas. Okay. Um, so here's this. This is what came in the box. I'm not scared. I'm just going to pull it out. Uh, it doesn't look like there's any markings on the lobster claw clasp, but there is like a little um, stone here. Uh, the extender. Here's your... Why am I having such a hard time? <laughs> there it is. It's just so shiny. I'll get it someday. Someday, someday, someday. It's really pretty. I'm not used to all this bling. It says NRT. So is that Avon? NRT. There it is. So you got your rhinestones in and around here. Some bigger rhinestones. Definitely, definitely way too girly for me. But it's very pretty. We'll do this one as I buy it. Now the magic word will be blue. Blue. If you're into that. Definitely cool. Pink bottom. And some tissue paper. Very cool. Hope everyone's Father's Day went well. Macy's. What did I? 
This is pretty. I don't know if this is from Macy's or if this was shoved into a Macy's box. But look at that. That's beautiful. That's gorgeous. It uh, doesn't look like it's missing any. Um, for this one or the last one, Jen? Um, actually, it is missing. So it's missing something right there in that spot. If I find it in the bottom of the bag, I'll let you know. But there's no um, hang tags on anything um, on this. And uh, there it is. You can see perfectly that the purple is missing. So we'll do this as a bite now for $6. The magic word will be flower bush. Flower bush. Because that's what it looks like. <laughs> So I'm going to put this back in its uh, way too fancy uh, <laughs> Macy's box for me. Okay. So I got, so this is where it's coming from. <laughs> got this, uh, the silver tone made to kind of look like pave a little bit. Hi, Carol. Do We'll see about the, the sets at the end with all of the, um, the bangles. We've been getting quite a bit of them right now from the bag but let's pull out another box um the the blue one here this will be 12 with the um the tissue paper the nrt this one has nrt on it nrt this one's 12 uh 12 the magic word will is blue on that one um this one is Hello. Hi. So glad you're here. Hello. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'm just uh, doing um, and my husband and I are just hanging out and I've had this box for for a minute. Um, so, yeah, that's what I'm doing. So um, this one right here is another really fancy box. Um fancy. It's, it's dirty. <laughs> um, but it's really pretty. Uh, it's a, I'm just going to go ahead and assume silver tone. Um, Wild Pearl A has an E at the end of Pearl. And there it is. Let's see if it's got anything marked on its hang tag. Looks like it's probably an average size um, necklace. I would wager between 16 and 18 inches, but there you go. There's your beautiful abalone. It's stunning and it comes in the box. Abalone jewelry. It's very pretty. It doesn't have any other rhinestones, so literally all the focus goes on the abalone, which is really nice. It's got really pretty purple flash. Hi, Lori. I got your, um, your flower today that my mom bought for me uh, the other day, and I put it up here. And then I got Jennifer's chicken and I just put that on there too. <laughs> no worries. No worries at all. So uh, we'll do this one as a buy it now for 12. Um, and the magic word will be abalone on that one. This is fun. Um, okay, here we go. Here's another one. That's crazy. Um, let's see. I'm taking it out of the bag. Because it looks like something. Ugh. Ugh. I dropped it. All right, great. So it's still working just fine. <laughs> All right, so these are green earrings. These are crazy. I just, yeah, I, uh, I know. I'm not going to say I, I took advantage of, of Jennifer uh, being off, but I'm like, well, someone's got to fill the space, and I guess it'll be me. <laughs> I wasn't doing anything anyway, so um, I figured I'd come on. I'm not trying to take advantage of the fact that Jennifer is not feeling well. I really hope you're feeling better. Jennifer's my homegirl, straight up, through and throughout, my ride or die. Um, 
but I have this box and I'm just like, well, why not? Also, I wanted to say that I will be on tomorrow with um, Jenny on Jenny Gems Project, her um, YouTube channel. I'm going to be doing everything but jewelry. So, yeah, that'll be fun. So um, make sure to check that out. Jenny Gems Project. So these I'm going to do this as a um, buy it now for, let's say, $4. Um, they have all of, please excuse my fingernails as well. Um, try to hide them. These are nuts, very long. These are shoulder dusters to the max. Um, the magic word will be green. Yeah, I know. It's kind of taken over my life a little bit. Like our server. These will be for you, darling. I gotta write this down so I don't forget. Yes, everything other than those earrings are available. Can I have a pen? Guess who wasn't prepared? Me. Yeah. Jeez. All right, as he's getting a pen. They're all in the top drawer of my, my cart. My little wheelie jig. Just wheel that wheelie cart over here. Guys, by the way, if you have a small um, little business, um, this little cart that I have has been so awesome. It's like, okay, so it's a little cart. Let me just pull you up here. With multiple drawers. And I have all the drawers organized, at least a little bit. And anyways, definitely recommend especially if you have to move around or whatever. This has been a really nice cart. To have. Yeah, the only downfall is we probably needed a bigger boat. Okay, so Miss Jennifer, that is yours for $4. Thank you everybody for your patience as I, we do this impromptu. And then the inspired... I'll remember which one's which. Don't you worry. This one for uh, 10. Goes to you, Miss Carol, if you're interested. You got it. Cool. All right. Rock and roll. Let's see what else we got. Hi, Lynn. We've got this, which this kind of looks like it should have been on a shoe. Uh, and whoever has small enough risk. Oh, I said eight, then eight it is. Eight it is, correct me. I had too much stuff going on. Eight dollars, Carol. All you, baby boo. All right, this guy, I'm probably what I'm gonna do is end up like putting all the bracelets at the end of it and saying, there they are. This one is going to go in the crap lot because it's it's hanging. Look, whoa, look at that. Look at this beast of a watch. Hey, Thelma. Geneva, yellow. I love the yellow. I love yellow. Yellow, yellow, yellow. I love it so much. This right here, I don't know if it works. Um, I played with uh, a couple of watches um, when I did one of the last unboxings I did. And now one goes off um, every day at 7.04 and one goes off sometime at 10 p.m. So um, I'm kind of afraid now that I press these buttons on the watch. So this yellow watch will do this as a buy it now for $4. The magic word will be yellow watch <laughs> we got this bangle which is also a clamper uh looks like it's like maybe giraffe print what more like an alligator alligator decisions were made with this this looks like um, memories. 
whatever happened didn't stay. There. Yeah, whatever happened didn't stay. Poor Tiffany. All right. These are, well, they were 50% off. Um, they're from Macy's as well. These are pretty faceted. They're acrylic. You can just kind of tell. But, I mean, the attention to detail. Look at how teeny tiny. Those are cute. They're lever. No, they're not. I thought I was going to say they were lever back. But look at that. That's French hook. We're going to do these. Please excuse my nails. We're going to do these as a buy it now for $5. The magic word will be pink. No problem. Internet's probably nuts right now. It's Sunday. It's Father's Day. You can only tell so many dad jokes. Um, this is a, a hair clippy. You got it, Carol. Heck yeah. These are cute. At this point in time, hi, Carolyn. I've been on for 21 minutes and we haven't talked about food. What did everybody have for dinner? I want to know. Uh, we have a punk rock faux stud gold tone bangle. Doesn't appear to have any um, stamps on the inside. Um, for dinner tonight, I had a salad and a half of a sandwich. And to be honest, this, I'm going to have to see about cleaning this because I don't know if you can see, but there's a little bit of wear on it. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to put it with the rest of the bracelets and I'll let, I'll just, I'll just figure it out. Um, this is, what? this is so lightweight. Um, it's got a lot of wear on the inside, guys. I'm just going to throw it away. All right. What do we got so far? We have spaghetti, yummy, baked pork chops and a baked potato, delicious. Steak and fries. I don't know how you guys can cook steak. It always makes me really nervous. This is, this is really pretty. Um, this is something that's just nuts. Plain noodles with olive oil and basil does sing. That sounds real good, real fresh. It was like going to be in like over the hundreds this week where I live. So anything cold or fresh, not, you know, whatever. Sounds great. Ooh, delicious. Dang. Potato balls? Liver and onions? Um, okay, so this guy right here, I'm going to put this with the rest of the bracelets. Like I said, we'll do a bracelet skadoozle over here at the end. This is another one, silver tone cuff. Putting it with the rest of the cuffs. Um, uh, steaks make me nervous, first off, because my husband likes his meat well done. No pink. No pink. I, however, love my steaks like medium, medium rare. Like just I've never had a kind of There's a little pincher bug. I hope it didn't come out of the bag. It's probably from the box. It was on our porch. It's true. It's under yeah. see it's right there. It's a little pincher bug. Ooh. Don't mind me. I'm an adult. Um <laughs> okay. So it was just a pincher bug. <laughs> um in my soul, you probably saw it just go, 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 go out of my Did body. Did you see the flash on that soul? <laughs> Did you see the flash on it? Anyways, well, I don't it's like it. What? Chatoyancy? Did you see the sh the chatoyancy of my <laughs> my soul leaving my body? Yeah, I'm having a great time. Yeah. Anyway, I get a lot of pincher bugs. We had them. Um, we had them spray the other day. We had to leave the house for like four hours in the midst of all of this. And that was fun. 
<laughs> this is a Belova. And I do believe Belova watches are <laughs> some, um, some good quality Belova. I'm, I'm not 100% certain. I know I have looked at comps for Belovas before. Um, this is a nice one. Um, gold tone. It does need to be cleaned up a little bit. Yeah, they can get in your ears. So I've heard. Um, another fun thing about me, maybe all of those, um, all of y'all don't know, is I love watching pimple popper videos, ingrown hair videos, and ear cleaning yes. videos. Um, so I've seen things come out of people's ears in videos, and um, I'm into it. I don't know. I'm going to have to check uh, check on this one. But let's say, yeah, I don't even know. This is one of those ones because it's nice. Even the watch band says Belova. So check some comps on the Belova. Dr. Pimple Popper is the best. But literally, and Lisa, E-N-L-I-S-A, and Lisa uh, Brown, I think her name is. She is amazing. Amazing. Um, if you've ever watched her face cleaning videos, she uses two uh, Q-tips as opposed to fingers. And let me tell you, it's good. Um, all right. Use small empty cans, fill it with oil and soy sauce, and they will drown in it. Thanks, Lynn. This room... We eat our <laughs> The task will be the battery replacement. Yeah, that's usually my husband's job. Um, hey, don't shout. Uh, you're not listening. Um, this right here looks like it could be a... Picture bug in here. Nice. Um, this looks like... No, I don't think it is. I'm like trying to figure out... Um... <laughs> in Lisa. Yeah. Did I spell it wrong? <laughs> this right here looks like... It looks really pretty. My mom was trying to show me the other day. She was like, all right, Devin, close your eyes. Smell this. Now smell another piece of jewelry. Can you smell? It smells like silver. And I'm like, no, it smells like goodwill. <laughs> so either my mom has an exceptional sniffer or I'm just, I don't know. <laughs> either way, I can't, I can't smell it. I'm like, so anyway, this is really pretty. Um, the back is so high shine. How It's dirty. Um, it's got a really pretty snake chain. Um, it doesn't appear to have any kind of hang tags or anything on it. We'll do this one. And it's a pretty heavy locket um, or something. Maybe it's a puzzle. Um, but, but I can't figure out. But, uh, can you figure out how to open it? I'll do a compilation video of all the... Uh, all the times I'm dropping something. So you guys will, will know. Yeah, <laughs> Whatever. Okay. So here we go. Uh, this is a studio. Studio time. It, it's garbage. Because it's not. It's so corroded in the back. Probably far beyond cleaning. So it looks like somebody has attempted to clean it at one point. So this is going to be garbage for me. No, it's not. No, I don't think it is. I think it's just heavy. This is... It, it makes it look that way because of the, this design. Oh, I get it now. Oh, It, it okay. is hollow, but it's because of that heart in the middle. So you All right. Decide. This one is... The only smell I've gotten from jewelry is cigarettes. Well, oh, yeah, that sure. sucks. I've gotten a lot of, like, um, grandma's bathroom perfume. Like, the whole... <laughs> Like it goes literally straight to right here. Um, we're going to do this one as a buy it now for $10. The magic word will be heart. This is a really pretty one. 10. Doesn't appear to have any kind of markings. Um, it does have like, you know, I don't, it's, it, it bears some weight. Heart. It bears some weight. Let me see. I'll put my hand in front of my face so you guys can see. I think probably, I don't know. I don't think it's pewter, to be honest with you. But I could be wrong. 
too light for me. <laughs> Would it have been more <laughs> if, if you hadn't dropped it? No. Thank you, Francis. How fun. Thanks for being here, Francis. Hello. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, no, I don't believe so. It's it's very, it does bear some weight. So this will be a fun one. All right. So I got this mess, which I would assume is just one necklace. Yes. But honestly, I don't like it. I don't like the clasp. It's not something that I would resell. Um, and it looks like it's come off some of this. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to toss this in the craft lot. So, hey, Gail, I didn't even see you. I'm trying so hard to keep up with the chat and unbox this bag. That was good. It's been good so far. This is a white enamel bangle. It's going in the bangle pile. I'm sorry, Gail. This right here, look at that. Hi, Patty with a Y. Um, the lobster claw clasp is literally garbage. It would definitely um, need to be replaced. Um, but it's banging. I mean, imagine hawking these rhinestones out and using them for something else. Um, I'm going to do this one as I buy it now for six. Bear in mind that these rhinestones are impeccable. However, the lobster claw clasp is gross. So literally you would be buying this probably to repurpose the chunky curb chain, which the magic word will be rainbow. Anyways, so yeah, and this is, this will be an easy, this would be an easy repair. So really cute, very fun, love that. Cute. Okay. Ugh. Another bangle. Thank you, Jennifer. Put that with your pile, girl. So I scratched my head and I wasn't going to use my fingers. <laughs> All right, I got I pulled this guy out before all the old hubbub. Um, and this looks like it is a vintage Belova. Um, this is the, the inside of it. It is so cute. It's engraved. It says, Love always WB B Day B D <laughs> D B I said. <laughs> Okay, I get my D's and B's turned around all the time, uh, so I apologize. It says Belova, but that is so cute. Um, so I don't know if even, okay, and so the Spidel, let me see. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely, the Belova will probably not be for sale tonight. The water are so finicky sometimes. Hi, peace out. Um, but this is upside down. And this is, a, is another one because the watch bands I know sometimes. So story time, I had a um, a dude talk to me. I, I, go, I used to go to the flea market like all the time. Um, and I used to buy from this guy all the time. Well, when all of this started, he approached me and asked me if I wanted to sell some of his stuff because he knew I had my YouTube videos and I sold on YouTube. So he had a buttload of watches. However, I don't know anything about watches and I didn't really want to sell his watches, but I took them anyway because I'm a pushover. And he gave me jewelry and he gave me watches. Well, I spent the whole day comping jewelry and his watches. So I kind of learned a little bit about what were the better priced ones, Belova or Belova. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Is it? B-U-L-O-V-A. It's a ba? It, it's said, you say it with a uh, but it's, it's a U, Belova. Hmm. I don't know. 
It is, yeah. Oh, look at how cute. This one right here is a little flower pot. Um, it the flowers have seen better days, and it looks like it it might have had something on it at one point. There's the uh, there's that. This is probably gonna be tossed because literally it's it's not in very balova. Yeah, balova, balova. Everybody, balova. Oh, Ugh. toss it. Another bangle. Uh, McGear. Bolava. Bolava? It's Bolava? Mm -hmm. One day I'll get it together. I'm going to have to ask Google. Um, this one, y'all see. Maybe. It's very nice. I don't know anything about it. All of the, uh, the two buttons on top move and about that's about as all I can say about that <laughs> it's a watch it's supposed to tell time um maybe no problem thank you for being here Balova high performing technology Balova well this is an Ann Klein I know Ann Klein watches so well I thought it was working for a second. It's not. But it has Mother of Pearl on the face, which is really pretty. And it has the um, the Anne Klein lion. I have another Anne Klein. Um, I don't know if I just said that, but I'm going to say it again. Um, I have another Anne Klein watch that I need to comp on, do some research about. But this looks nice. It doesn't look like there's a lot of wear on it. I'll get it eventually one day, guys. That's why I'm no... Uh, watch spurt i uh i just i stick with uh what i know the jewelry um i got a little kitty cat or a lion a leopard a tiger a four-legged mammal but that's cute he's got a grumpy face on he's mad about something very cute it's got a, a signature on the back i would assume well, obviously the cat got Oh, maybe you'll have to say your jokes louder so people could also be like, poor Elijah. Yeah. Um, so we'll do this one as a buy it now for five. The magic word will be kitty cat. And I don't know why it's not focusing. There it is. Isn't that the friggin' cutest? That's adorable. <laughs> Yes. Yes, for sure. Thanks, Cinnamon. There you go. Kitty cat. Kitten cat. All right, what do we got in this? Uh, kitty cat, you got it, Francis. <laughs> Sorry, I made you type kitty cat. Because <laughs> I'm a big old kid. <laughs> no problem. Thank you so much. <laughs> Yeah. This one is a consort. Consort. C O N S O R T. Consort. I just cannot with watches. Um, diamond quartz. They do nothing for me, they provide me no satisfaction. Um, however, I like knowing the time and I like having watches or clocks rather in my uh, bathrooms and every other room in my house because I feel like I need to stay focused on time. I think probably because kids and everything, you, I, I personally as a mom like to stay on a schedule and be on a schedule. So time is really important to me. Um, we got this one. It's a stretchy. Looks like it's uh, natural elements shell. Uh, this is resin. That's pretty colors. Uh, I do like it has like a feather drop down. It's got like a crescent moon drop down. Literally right before I got on here, I was looking um, up uh, cabochons of moon faces. Um, because for those of you who may not know, I'm, I'm trying to get into soldering and uh, 
just for ideas. I was looking that up. Fun facts. <laughs> I'm going to put these with the bracelets and we'll do the bracelets last. Hey, we got this. Um, I don't know what it is. Well, I know what it is. It's a pendant. It's very pretty. It's glass. Couldn't tell you if in the future send me all the cat stuff. You got it, Mr. Bob. Um, I don't know. It doesn't have any markings on it. It's got a little bit of like patina. If you find swatch watches, some can go for some money. We'll do this one as a buy it now for $5. The magic word will be purple. It's pretty. It is glass. It's like an emerald cut glass. You're really pretty just to hang on your window. I know I say that a lot, but seriously, I have like a window like right there. It's my kitchen window. You know, my succulents are in there because I can close the blinds and forget about them. Um, and I like hanging little things from my, my drop down because it catches the light. It's just what I like. So there's that. We're pretty near done, but let's see how it goes. Holy smokes. This is an NY. That was shocking to me for some sort of reason. It's originally $25. I want to know who goes into NY and is like, here we go. Let's do it. $25. But if you got the money, tear it up. I don't know anything about swatch watches. My mom was telling me that I guess they were popular in the 80s. I couldn't tell you. But this right here is an NY. Looks like, well, maybe it's just the way it's supposed to look to catch the light. Because some of them, some of the balls, these are big balls, uh, look cracked. But when I put my finger and try to get my fingernail in there, I don't feel anything. So maybe that's like the inside. But this is a long one. This has got to be like 30 some odd inches long. Um, plus or minus. It has a cute little anchor here too. Little, little one. But it has a hang tag uh, of NY OBS. And then New York and Company. I'll get it together one day. There it is. Um, we're going to do this as a bite now for six. The magic, magic word. The magic word is NY. The magic phrase, the magic something. If you're going to have an attitude. I want to know what I'm typing. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> yeah, it is your day. Enjoy. <laughs> this is cute. Hi, Pat. This right here um, looks ceramic of sorts. It's got the same design. I know. The same design on the front side as it does the back side. Except this is color. The other snot. We're going to do this as a buy it now for five. The magic word is flower. <laughs> Siri can't read the clock. Read a clock. I can't read a clock most times either. I always have to count it. I failed clock. Hmm? Five. Buy it now. You're fine. This one right here is a uh, costume ring. We'll do this one as a buy it now for a dollar. If anyone wants this, the magic word uh, will be a dollar. Fine. I don't know. It's pretty. It's got um, like some. Nitty. All right. We're getting down to the nitty gritty here. So this. This is the necklace that matches with this bracelet. Or at least I think it does. This one has kind of like a Greek key design on the clasp. 
And this one kind of has not so much a Greek key <laughs> design on the glass. But um, since these are both magnetic and I'm a lamo, um, you got it, Patty with a Y. Yours for a dollar. Um, looks like blue Delft ceramics. I know I was I was like, I know it starts with something, but Delft was the word I was looking for. This, these two right here, they're both magnetic. We're gonna do these as a buy it now for six. The magic word is magnet and you got it miss jennifer this will be yours and at last i uh, see so yeah these are both thank you patty cool Thanks, guys. All right, here we go. Get to the bottom of the bag. And, oh my gosh. Okay, so this is so cool, but I'm going to go ahead and empty out the bottom of the bag because this is the purple. I'm so glad. Okay, the purple from that necklace is in here. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. In this Macy's bag box, it's missing one of the flowers, but it's, it's right here. It's right here. It could be fixed. The flower bush can be fixed. I'm so glad because it has matching earrings. So you have your, uh, you have your set. So... If anyone's interested in the set, flower bush and earrings, I don't remember what I was asking for it earlier, but wheel and deal, we're going to do this as a buy it now for $7 if anyone wants it. The earrings, the missing piece that can be repaired and the flower bush necklace in your very own one-of-a-kind pre-owned Macy's box. All right, back to the other stuff, which I'm probably peppering Jennifer's gumbo on this, but y'all, this necklace came with the matchy-matchy earrings. Why did they do this? Um, maybe I don't have another box. <laughs> do I? Oh well, no, you're the one that said you have to do unboxing videos. I thought that you have more than one. No. <laughs> so these say the same NRT, and um, yeah, they're matchy matchy. I don't know what I was asking for for this earlier because I have an intention span of a goldfish. Um, I can retain some things, but then other things I just, I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll show some stones. I got stones. <laughs> you got it. Sure. <laughs> um, we'll do this as a buy it now for 12. 12. He never listens. 12. And they're both... Um, NRT, so I assume that's Avon. Um, and yeah, matching earrings. Magic word is blue. Enunciate. He's a, you know, honestly, you got it. Thanks, Francis. All yours. Jennifer already got the necklace, Devin. <laughs> Did she? Jennifer. 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 Jennifer, did you get this necklace already? Jennifer, I thought you just asked about it. Hold on, Francis. Let me let me see. <laughs> Way to go. Earlier I was goofing up too on Lisa's channel. Okay, one second. 
Oh, me. Oh, my. E until she returns, I'll show this one, which is the last thing in the box. There's nothing in there. No, I don't think so. She got she got another necklace and she got some earrings. So um, I'll find out. Um, this right here is another bracelet. So we're going to <laughs> we're gonna do the bracelets all together. Y'all, I have a problem hoarding bracelets for some sort of reason. So um, it was before you had a pen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I really should be more prepared, but you know, I just get so excited sometimes. My husband can attest to it. I'm like a a plan as you go and then worry about all the deets later. But then I'm I don't know, I got an issue. So, anyways, here we go. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve bangles bracelets cuffs clampers beaded things uh we'll do these as a buy it now for five dollars all of these one monies magic word is bracelet bracelet magic word i'll find out for miss jennifer before i give away her pretty i don't know if i did or not don't mind me. <sighs> I did. No, I said, what did you say? Buy it now, how much, and what was the matter? Because I didn't. It's a buy it now. Right. For $5, oh, the magic word is bracelets. And there's 12 bracelets. Thank you, Patty. Saved me from ripping out my husband's eyeballs on his special day. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Cool. All right. Eventually, I'll get Jennifer. I don't think she did, though. Seriously, I don't think she did. But we'll see. Anyways, excuse me. Um, let's see. If you still want to see some more stuff. I don't really have, I'm down, I'm down to the, <sighs> let's see, what has been sitting that I haven't shown in a minute? You got it. Maybe I just wanted her to have it. That's funny. Here's some, here's some sterling pieces that I haven't had an opportunity to show um, that I, I'll go ahead and show now, I suppose. Um, when I, a lot of times when I do, um, when I get sterling and stuff, I tend to not do unboxings about it unless I have like a large quantity, in which case, you know, then I do it. But so glad everyone knows you're right. Okay. So this one right here. Um, is a piece of sterling that I got from a shop Goodwill box. Um, let me see. There it is. It's a green color. Jennifer, did you end up wanting this, this necklace? There was so much confusion. Did you end up wanting this necklace? Because um, it ended up in the bottom of the box, ended up coming with, two uh lever back earrings that matched i didn't know if you had you had claimed this necklace already because you had asked about it um but i wanted to make sure before i sold the lot that these weren't yours so let me know <laughs> if you're interested um you are okay sorry francis okay sorry Sorry, sorry. Oh, is it is it pixelated over there for you? Is it because you're by the microwave? You did, Patty. You got the bracelets. Those are all yours. Yesterday on um, 
yesterday I was watching a video on Facebook. Granted, it was Facebook, but I was watching a video and, um, okay. And, uh, I kept on having to go back in and go back out. Well, you know, go out and come back in. It was so frustrating to me because I really wanted to watch it. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay. So this is a cool one. Um, it's a natural stone. It's a dark green stone. So I'm just showing some sterling pieces that I haven't shown, haven't had an opportunity to show. What's really cool about this one is it's stamped Mexico and it has like a bell up there. Um, and anyways, it's 925 sterling silver. It's been acid tested and it's got a really nice veil. It's really pretty. I haven't figured out which stone this is yet, but... And I haven't figured out whether I'm going to put this on Etsy or not. Oh, no, it's pixelated. You know, it was so funny when I did my um, jewelry preview with um, Jewelry Nurse for the Steals and Deals auction. I was pixelated, too. Please let Francis have the necklace. You got it. No problem, Jennifer. Very kind of you. Thank you so much. Sorry for the confusion. Is it serpentine? Mossamite? Mossamite. Um... <laughs> I have no clue. Oh, it'd help if I'd show you. I have no clue. It's very interesting. It's very opaque. Um, you know, it's it's gorgeous. It's a it is a forest green, um, to say that. Um, but it says Mexico 925 and then Taxco. So this is a fun one. And I think this means the um, the bell trading posts because there's a little steeple in there and there is the number three stamped in. Yeah, when in doubt, it's a Jasper or an agate for sure. If anyone's interested in this, I'd be willing to part with it for $25. So, and it's signed. So that's really cool. Um, this has been slightly, slightly polished, quite possibly. Um, it's a very nice piece. It's, um, it's smaller than a lot of the other pendants that I have, but it, it bears very good weight. Could be serpentine. Absolutely. This necklace right here, I was like selling this. I was like trying to sell this necklace as dyed agate, but it's serpentine. I was reading my, my stone book. That's right there. Serpentine. And it's a beautiful limey green color. So, you know, you learn something new every day. Um, I happened to come across this. I think he was like reading something. And it's serpentine. I had no clue. I kept on calling it a dyed agate. Goes to show you. You never know. So anyways, this guy right here. <laughs> whatever so i got this one too which is also stamped hi judy yes it really is um this is also stamped or a vegetable <laughs> it's also stamped uh mexico 925 now this is a heavy one too this is like a greek key design it is, it's a thicken. It's thick. I want to, I mean, it's heavy uh, for a pendant. And it's really cool that it's stamped. So it's Mexico 925. Very fun. Um, so I don't know. But I wanted to show some of my sterling. If anyone wants to know what they are, the prices, just ask. All right, here's some more stuff I'll show. Yeah, sure. Oh, okay. 
I've been holding on to this one because I didn't know. All right, Francis. Um, let me tell you the grams. There's my face. I want to love you. <laughs> Six grams. Six grams. Six grams is this, um, this uh, pendant that stamped Mexico 925. It is the Greek key. Um, I would be willing to part with this for $28. <laughs> She's thinking, not serious. Takes a lot of brain power. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> nice check from Silver. Exactly. Uh, so it's, I mean, it's uh, it's pretty, yeah. Oh, thank you, Francis. Wowzer. Thank you, thank you. It's stunning. This, is, this has some nice weight to it. You're going to enjoy this. Thank you, Francis. I really appreciate it. Dang it. It's very impromptu, uh, much like a lot of my life. Impromptu. It's like my second kid. Impromptu. Telling my dad yesterday when I went over um, for Father's Day, I was like, Happy Father's Day. These are your gifts, my kids. The first one was planned, the second one wasn't. <laughs> we had a good laugh. Okay. So this is one that I think possibly may be an anklet, but these are sterling silver crescent moons on some kind of chain. I've been holding on to these because, <laughs> because I think they're so cute. Impromptu is the second middle name. <laughs> <laughs> Impromptu is the second. It was going to be Oglethorpe, but we decided on Oliver. Um, so these are so cute. This one's not for sale. I just wanted to show it. I can't part with this one just yet. I can't. I cannot because I just have, I have a thing going on with it. All right, here we go. Um, okay, this is cute, and I haven't had a chance to show it because whatever. Um, this is uh, 925 sterling silver. It is a uh, charm. And I know there's some people who collect charms, especially vintage charms. I know my mom for a while was. Um, but how cute is this? Okay, so it's all four aces, and then it says, good luck. And the little print in the center is 925. Um, it's got a hold on me for sure. Um, <laughs> honestly, um, it was, I think it's just a running joke between my husband and I, um, <laughs> just to, you know, be silly or something, but I just, I don't know. Oglethorpe is heck of funny. <laughs> it's from what? What was the days of our lives? Some soap opera that his mom used to watch. They called him Ogie. Augie? Augie? Bo! 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 Bo. We were desperately trying to find out a boy's name. But anyways, we're going to do this one. I'll be willing to part with this one for, um, for $12. This is sterling silver. Super cute. It says, good luck. Um, it's got the, um, the C, the copy, copy, right? I believe <laughs> there it is. Good luck. And it would make a really cute pendant if you're into that, but either way, the magic word is good luck. Watch someone puts good luck in the chat and I'm all thanks. <laughs> I don't do, I'm just. Too much, man. It's got the wheelies, man. So funny. All right. I mean, I really showed a lot of my stuff. I did make some pendants. <laughs> I did make some pendants. Um, oh, here. This is one that I've been sitting on, and I don't know why. Good night. Thank you so much for being here. I don't know why. But I think probably because 
howlite and turquoise are so hard sometimes to differentiate between the two for me. And I'm going to be honest, turquoise is probably not one of my favorite stones. I love the color, but this is a turquoise ring. And this is a size nine, uh, nine, it's like a loose nine is what my husband said when he met me. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> here it is. It's a nine. Um, and it's the three stones here. Um, I'd be willing to part with this one for 35. Um, this is a solid good amount of silver. Here's the back. Probably needs to be polished up just a smidgel. And there it is. Thanks, Francis. Holy smokes. I'm, really, I'm like, no one's going to want the. <laughs> here you go. <laughs> Look at here. <laughs> Thank you so much, Francis. I really appreciate it. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And it's a nice one. It's, it's a size nine. So, I mean, it's beautiful. And for me, I like the number three. Three has just been like a really like cool number in my family. It's like always been like, I love you. It's like the three. So it had three stones in them all. This is cool. Um, let's see here. I have some more rings. I don't know if anyone wants to see any rings, but I have some more rings. And I also have some more charms. I have some sterling silver charms, if anyone wants to see. I've got some dog charms. I've got some high heel charms, a martini glass charm. So let me know if you want to see charms. Because I got them. Um... Here we go. Um, this one right here is a bummer um, because this is acid tested sterling silver, but it's missing a freaking CZ, man. It's a double clasp, double safety clasp. See that there? We see that wing dinger right there? It's missing. So much bummer because look at how pretty it is i'm not a bling bling gal um but and the safety class works functions properly it's marked 925 acid tested i'm just so bummed about it it's missing a rhinestone so i've debated on whether or not to post it on etsy because it's missing freaking rhinestone but i'd be willing to part with this guy for 20 bucks because it's missing a rhinestone and it's got some nice silver weight to it However, if someone wants to make a deal, I'd be uh, I'd be willing to because of the freaking that's such a bummer. Anyway, I'm not good with gluing the little. Plus, I wouldn't. My luck, I'd be like, all right, it's a perfect fit and glue in like a blue rhinestone. That's just plus. I don't like. Yeah, and it's, it's smashed on the table, or one of the kids has it. Either way. Let's see what else I get. A lot of teeny tiny little um, polka dot bikinis and also earrings. A lot of that. And I have this cross necklace. Crosses are so hard, but um, you know, okay, let's let's show let's put near a lot of my sterling. I am getting more, but I can show this one. 15, yes, Francis, it's yours. 15, bear mind, it's missing the rhinestone here, but someone's got to be like, what was the cartoon where the guy kissed his hand? Robin Hood. The cartoon Robin yeah. Hood. Walt Disney Robin Hood. Walt Disney Robin Hood where Robin Hood kissed the king's hand and he smiled in all the yeah, all the teeth. You got it, Francis. Thank you so much. That's what it was. <laughs> That's kind of how I feel like someone's gotta be up and close and personal trying to kiss the <laughs> gems off of you. Okay, this this is how weird I am because my mom saw this and she was all 
It's gross, but I love it. Um, it's a size seven and a quarter. Look at this. It is, <laughs> it's a copper ring. I don't know what is going on with my thingy. But let me try to see if I can't wipe my camera off again. There we go. <gasps> hey, Mom. I'm showing the ring you thought was disgusting. <laughs> and I liked this one right here. It's the uh, copper ring. It is so cute. It's copper. It's like violently copper. Um, my mom's just not into it, I guess. I am. This does stuff for me. Like, can you imagine? This right here is just, it's not dirty. It's so shiny. Next level. It's gorgeous. It's very orange copper, but it's got beautiful filigree work. It's got a tremendous, gorgeous, like, I don't know. It's, it's absolutely over the top. Like no one, I don't know of anyone in the right mind that would be like hardcore rock in this, but more power to them. I just love it. I think it's great. This is one of the unusual ones I have. So here we go. Um, I have, doo -doo 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 -doo. all right, so this right here was sold to me as sterling silver, citrine, the copper, not citrine, the copper ring, Elijah is full of it, yeah, it's like a yellowy stone, do you see that? It is. I know. It's a bummer. Like the rhinestones on the side are like at least, but I don't know. Like this right here, it's like it looks like there's nothing even in there. <laughs> Put it in there, mom. <laughs> okay, so this was sold to me as sterling silver. However, it's not. It is not. Um, this was actually a send back for me. Someone graciously sent this back to me. Um, I'm bummed about it. I acid tested it, and that's why I'll also public service announcement. Make sure you change out your acids because your acids can make a difference in false readings. So this right here is a pink moonstone. It's stunningly, absolutely, positively gorgeous. It's a pink stone with a blue flash. Let me see about this right here on why it's not focusing. It's probably me. But let me give you the size. It's a size 7-ish. It's a loose 7. And there it is. Uh, I don't think it's, it's very pink. Let me put some blue behind it. Look at that blue behind that. It's very pink. I'm just real bummed. And yeah. Um, so I'd be willing to part with this one for $15. And that's way less than what I paid for it, but I paid for it under the assumption that it was sterling. And, but... That's what it is. So it'll be a buy it now for 15. The magic word will be pink. I do believe it's moonstone. Very, very much so. You could see the flash. It's not peach in color. I have seen peach moonstone. It's, it's very pink. As you can see, it's a beautiful stone. Stunning. Like yeah, um, I have Kathy Allen in it pink. Thank you, Kathy. Just bear mind, this is not sterling. That's the only thing. I'm bummed by it, but it's a beautiful stone nonetheless. Uh, it's congratulations. You'll love it.
Okay. We can go back to, I made a few pendants. And by made a few pendants, I turned some single earrings <laughs> that are silver. And I twisted the ear wire and made them into pendants. I think it's pretty cool. However, I don't know. There's really nothing that could be done with them other than that since they have stones in them. But I made them pretty secure. And I'll go ahead and show them. <laughs> Why not, right? Just for your fancy, for your viewing pleasure. And all shapes and sizes. Why not? Hope everyone's having a good night. <laughs> okay, so this was one of the ones I did. It's like I cleaned it. It's enamel. These have all been washed <laughs> by moi. We'll do this one as a buy it now for $8. As you can see, it used to be an earring. And let me get my fingers right. And to show you, the magic word will be red. So here's how I did it. <laughs> um, but it's very flush to the earring back. So it will just go right on there. But this is all sterling silver. And it would make a dainty little necklace. I thought, hmm, why not? This one right here is another one that I made. I'll show you the ear wire <laughs> before I show you anything else. Here it is. So I tucked it in. It's articulated. And we'll say that's uh, resin as well. Black resin, but it's articulated. We'll do this one as a bite now for $12. The magic word will be black. <laughs> That's funny. This one is really pretty in my opinion. Partially purple, maybe. I don't know. But here it is. I'll show you the, the ear wire first. If it'll focus. And there it is. So there's no gaps. It's not going to come loose. Acid test sterling silver. And this is it right here. We'll do this one as a buy it now for $12. The magic word will be purple. Again, these are all upcycled <laughs> from earrings. <laughs> uh, well, they used to be earrings, sterling silver earrings. This is the last one I'll show because this whatever. Um, this one right here. It is southwestern in style. It's a small one. Uh, I do believe that that's turquoise in the center. Um, and then there is your ear wire that's bent in a way that it turns into a pendant. We'll do this as a buy it now for $8. The magic word will be flower. Because I was going to say southwestern. But I didn't know if my husband wanted to type that out. <laughs> All right. There's that. <laughs> um, I also got, and I thought that this was very pretty. This is not something that I made. Uh, I got this in a lot. This is bottom of the bag. So always check your bags, y'all. This right here. It's a sterling silver little teeny tiny pendant. If my camera would focus. Um, this right here. So cute. It's got marcasites on top in a really, a really pretty CZ in like an emerald cut. And it's, you can really see the dancing flashing <laughs> with it being out of focus. What's cute about it is that on its sides, it shows a heart cut out. Let's... Let's make this happen, camera. What do I have to say to you? Do I have to tell you that I love you? Because right now I don't. 
the magic word will there it is. So you can see the hearts on the side. So cute. Very fun. Another one that I have not tested. I'm just going to show this one's not for sale yet. This is, I don't think that this is. No, I don't think that this is amber. Um, but it is on sterling. <laughs> amber has, I don't know, I do have my black light though. Let's do this together, shall we? Okay, so here it is. Black light. I don't know. I've also heard that you can, um, if it floats in salt water, it's amber. One that's like a telltale for me that's always worked is to heat a needle and to prick it. Because if it's, yeah, in an inconspicuous, inconspicuous place. <laughs> but this one right here. Yeah. Yeah. If, if it's not, it's, I've smelt, um, it is stanky. It stinks at the house it's real bad. All right, cool. Then this one I got, which is a beautiful purple pink garnet color. I hope you can see when I turn it like this. This is another teeny tiny pendant. It's so hard to show. And on the bale, it's stamped in the teeny tiniest 925 sterling. I'd be willing to part with this guy for $15. It's a really pretty garnet. No, because it wasn't for sale. I haven't oh, tested it. So this one needs to be polished up. $15. The magic word is purple. It's really pretty. It would sit. Dang it, I did. Um, garnet then. G-A-R-N-E-T. Garnet. Oh. Thank you, Francis. This will be yours. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. It's stunning. You'll have to like put it up to the light when you get it at home because it's a beautiful red purple shift. Nuts. It's gorgeous. I know you probably will, but I'm not going to tell you how to live your life, but it's pretty. Okay. Thank you, Miss Francis. What else do I have here? This one's also acid tested sterling silver. It's stamped 925 on the bale. It's a little, are these like Hawaiian flowers? Hibiscus? Maybe? Since this is a teeny tiny guy and it's, it's pretty thin. I'll do this as a bite now for $8. The magic word will be <laughs> Plumeria. Okay. I was all <laughs> Plumeria. My mom told me. Thank you. I Now I have to wonder what, well, now I wonder what hibiscus looks like. But Here's a plumera. That will be the magic word. Palmeria. 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 Hawaiian. Oh, that is a Hawaiian flower then. I don't know. Hibiscus, I guess, is the tea. Or is it? Banana does have one on her foot. I don't think Miss Cinnamon wanted this, though. I think she was just giving me some, dropping that knowledge on me. <laughs> Um, I do have this bracelet. It's pretty. I'll give you the measurements because I need some high distance. <laughs> That's funny. This one is eight inches. It's really pretty. 
8 inches. It's bigger with vein petals, as big as your head. Shut up. That's nuts. Hibiscus is a Hawaiian flower, too. Hey, I was close, but not at all. <laughs> this is a sterling silver bracelet. Um, what I like about it is all of it's twisted. It's very pretty. It could catch the light very well, but I'm pretty certain that if you wanted to, you can straighten this out and it could be longer. Um, I'd be willing to part with this guy for, um, we'll say 15 as well. Again, this is a size eight. It's acid tested. And it has your lobster claw clasp. It's really pretty. Um, yeah, it's a buy it now, $15. The magic word will be swirl. It's very pretty. And there's your stamps on it as well. I wanna love you. Thanks, Carol. Cool. Thank you. Cool, cool, cool. Let me put my mess away. I wanna love you. I have this, and um, I don't know for certain what the stones are, but I have sold something like this similar on Etsy. Um, it was uh, ornamental um, carved animals on, um, on a adjustable cord similar to this. However, the last one that I sold was more Asian, um, as it did have some, uh, this, like some symbols on there and some coins. Um, this one has what looks to me like a ram, a leopard and a pig. I'm going to show it here. It's very cool. Um, and it has some like natural stones here, here all the way and even has some natural stones here. Um, I, um, I'm going to put a price on this one for $25, um, because if no one buys it, I'm going to put it on my Etsy for like 32 <laughs> free shipping though. <laughs> Say 25, the magic word will be animal. And these are all 25. Should I speak like this? No. But it's a cute little pig. Uh, are you serious? Yeah, because I can hear the fan in the other room. Animal. You can hear the fan in the other room? Yeah. Guys, the fan in the other room is over there. And he can't hear me. <laughs> I can't. I can't. <laughs> I just literally cannot. I have a diadendric agate sterling silver pendant. I'd be willing to part with this stunning piece for $18. The magic word will be snow. I didn't hear even the price. <laughs> I didn't even hear the price. I just heard... Yeah. Like you Francis, know Francis. you know nothing, Jon Snow. Thank you, Francis. This is a stunner as well. Cool. That's a good series until the last last season just tanked it. Thanks, Francis. Yes, selective hearing. Because he can hear when a mouse toots, but he can't hear when I'm like, there might be someone at the front door. <laughs> Save our family. <laughs> it's funny. All right. Um, I got it stuck in my head. I got a hummingbird. Is that, is that right? 
I have a hummingbird. It's a hummingbird charm. When we went to the park the other day, my mom and I, well, and the rest of my family were there. <laughs> and we saw a hummingbird sitting on its nest. It's the cutest thing. So this is a little hummingbird. I do, This is a buy it now for 12. It is tarnished. Um, but if I move it in such a way you can see right there, there is the bale. So it would be flush against your skin, however way you wear it. It is so stinking cute. And it has its long little beak. The magic word's hummingbird. Actually, hummingbird is one word. All words are one word if you just don't say <laughs> All words are one word. Octopus? Squid? I don't know. Calamari is good if you get it fresh. But... I thought that squid works from SpongeBob. Thank you, Francis. What is, what is going on? <laughs> I told you not to go out there. <laughs> it's beautiful. And it was stunning. I have a little hummingbird's nest that actually like fell out of our tree in our front yard. Thank you. Sure. My husband will bring it over. Um, I have it encased in a little glass thing. Thanks. Thanks to my mom because I just had it in a little Tupperware. <laughs> kid, kid snack Tupperware. So this is my little hummingbird's nest that actually I think fell on my husband uh, when he was doing the this yard, is this is what I had it in for the longest time. Um, but the intri intricacy and the love that was put into this beautiful nest. It's so special. Look at that. So cute. And I got this from the dollar store. <laughs> It was it was really special to see that. It was really stunning. Stunningly special. Okay. So um I have a lovely box of coconuts. Ba -da -da -da. I have some um picture jasper bands and we used to have Q-tips in that jar. Yeah, our Q-tips ran out and my mom just plucked that from the bathroom and just put the hummingbird nest in there. So thanks, mom. We have to get more Q-tips. So I have some Picture Jasper bands. These are made from Picture Jasper, like legit. Um, one is, the smallest one is a size five and three quarters. Then we have a size eight and a size nine. I'd be willing to do these as a buy it now for 10 or best offer. So this one is a size five. Wow. That's, that's I don't know how I feel about that. That's smart. But it's very smart. It's very smart. Use spider webs to hold, uh, to okay. Um, I, I know that there's a pink moth. Someone showed a, a pink moth the other day. Moths make silk. I didn't know that until I watched How It's Made. But I love that show, How It's Made. On what channel is it on? Huh? Science Discovery. Discovery. Oh, science. I, it's one of the I love How It's Made. Like that show just, it gets me there. My mom doesn't like watching it. She says it feels like it's like substitute day or like. I don't know. I'm too chicken, and so is my daughter, unfortunately. <gasps> Shut up. I love how it's made. My dad got me into it. But of course, I want to know how haggis is made. Of course. First, I want to know how they put stuff. They make chains. Like, <laughs> duh. My husband brought up a, how it was made about a stone one time. What stone was it? Uh, it was a stone. 
night, Jennifer. It was, it was cool. How it's made on everything. Anyway, back to the topic, which is this picture Jasper bands. No. I don't know. But anyways, these are going to be $10 or best offer. Feel better, Jennifer. Octopus emoji. Heart emoji. See you on Wednesday emoji. No, that's a hot pass for me on Haggis. But more power to the person who can. Like that guy that travels the world and eats the people's uh, foods. The, the, no, not him. He's bald. The bald chubby dude looks like he's got a kind soul. He's also on the Discovery Channel or something. And he travels the world and eats random stuff. That's an excellent show. Um, I don't have cable. So. <laughs> All right, here we go. Um, nah, 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 nah. That's pretty much all I got for rings. But. I don't know. I have these. <laughs> now that poor Jennifer. Look. Who is it? Andy Zimmerman. Yes, Carol. Bizarre Foods. Bizarre, food. bizarre Foods. Yo, that show's dope. And he takes it like a freaking champ. Like, I could not. Yeah. I know. I'm sorry. I just go off into all these random things. So poor Jennifer, I have to whip these out after she's gone. They're like literally abalone. Like this is it. I guess that these are about two inches. Beautiful flash. And then it's got, you've got your mother of pearl little dangly dupe here. I'd be willing to part with these for $6. The magic word is abalone. Oh. Mm -hmm. They're huge. I mean. Really? It's really pixelated? And then it'll get clear and it'll get clear. Oh, really? I wonder why. Maybe, well, I would suppose that. Um, the, only, the only difference is I'm on the laptop instead of my phone. That's the only oh, I don't even have my phone um, on scene. So I'm going to pull up my phone. Let me know if I'm pixelated, guys. Carol Thomas says, I love dangly dupes. I also enjoy dangly dupes. Don't act like it was like what, mom, because. She was like, what, mom? I'm not, um, I'm not blurry on my, my phone. I mean, they're good now, but it's like waves. I know I'm good. All right, you guys want to see some stones? Are you tired of me? What? Crystal Creamery? You're crystal clear now. Oh. Your mom says move your phone away from the laptop. Good one. good one, mom. Sure, here they are. Here's one side. Beautiful flash. Here's the other side. How do you want to see it? Here you are, Patty, and all of its glory. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let me put let me put some blue behind it. Really, you can see that flash. Yeah, this is one of the ones that my mom and I unboxed together. Mm, it's very fun. You can see like right there. Stunning. Even this one too. It's got really pretty flash. <laughs> there they are. And then they are. The unboxing where you had to search her before <laughs> she left your house. Um, I never do that. And my mom literally and I were joking yesterday about that. I'm like, you make me out to be some kind of like, oh, I need my 
phone, my phone. I need my computer plugged in. Um, chief. Um, my mom and I were just talking. I'm not that kind of person. I'm a nice person. I don't care. But if she wants to take whatever, she could take whatever. But anyways, <laughs> Devin, Jesus can hear you. Jesus can hear you too, mom. Okay, so I got this in unboxing. It is the sickest. Like, I love this so much. It is a single point Rastafarian colors, but it's it's like you would have to you would have to trim this up here and then string it through here. <laughs> Anyways, this also has malachite chips strung in between here. This is the sickest thing ever. Like I love this so much. Like, isn't this the coolest? Thank you. Oh, here we go. The over-explaining nation, my mom. I love to tease Devin. <laughs> I know, mom. It's okay. Uh, <laughs> I'd be willing to part with this guy for um, for eight, for six. I'd be willing to part with this guy for six. Um, six dollars. Rasta. Because it's yellow red and green like a stoplight it's sick and it's got malachite chips it is so funny can you imagine we're all proud of you Devin. <laughs> thanks guys <laughs> cracking me up i can't, <laughs> I can't. okay so i think that this may <laughs> Rasta, you got it, Francis. Heck yeah, Francis. Snaps to you. Okay. Rasta, oh, cinnamon, you came in a little bit after. This, I think, is. Um, I don't think that this is shell. I think that this is um, like ceramic with the Shiva shell over top. <laughs> Francis is going to need a bigger boat. Um, I know, but I said bigger boat because of Jaws. Yeah. Elijah. Here's the front. <laughs> we're going to we're gonna duke it out in the street right now. <laughs> Here's the back. <laughs> oh, man. I do. I'd be willing to do this as a buy it now for three dollars. It has a silver tone chain. It's really pretty. I tested it. It's just copper wire, but they really did a good job wrapping it. I don't know. I don't know how people can wire wrap and make it look so pretty. Mine look like literal garbage. Like I'm the first one to admit, no, like not good. Yours, Patty. You got it. Thank you. Thank you. Paper. When you're on live by yourself, you can't pause it in two. Like, you know, you gotta just grin and bear it. I did. I got the I got the Jaws reference. Dun -na, dun -na, dun -na, dun -na. I'm uh, frightened of Jaws. Story time again. Um, my, on one of the vacations that we went on, um, my parents took us to Universal Studios and the studio tour takes you through the whole back lot. And one of the parts, which I didn't know because I was an innocent young child is you're at a part and they take you through water and Jaws supposedly tips the boat and comes out. Well, my parents had wanted to put me right by Jaws, knowing well enough that I was terrified of Jaws. Once I saw the water, my eyes were closed. I became one in myself with my shirt, and I didn't, but that was that. 
all in all, still good time. But we have a picture. We have a picture of my dad and brother because they have the one of the sharks hanging that's not Jaws. Because if you've seen the movie, they find a shark, but it's not Jaws. And um, anyways, my dad and my brother are like posted up by it. And I'm like in the corner. Like, <laughs> Anyways, it's a funny picture. I'll have to show it one of these times. It's great. All right. Enough about that. But yeah, I I understand. Yeah, yeah, I get it. <laughs> like, if I put just oh jeez. Well, at least you washed her. It doesn't matter. It's real to me. It's so real to me. It's frightening. All right, here we go. Um, let's see. I have a little petrified, um, petrified wood. Um, no one wants to be the stinky kid. So good on you, Cody. Um, I have a little petrified heart. I'd be willing to do this as a buy it now for five dollars. The magic word is wood. Buy it now, five dollars. Petrified little wood heart. And well, um, later we went on the Jurassic Park ride, I think. It was before they added, I mean, what? This was like, this was the 50th anniversary of Disneyland. So this had to be what, like, gross, like 15 years ago? And that's so weird because I'm, I'm 17. I don't know how, how, <laughs> I don't know how that's possible. So it's a little petrified wood heart. Anyways, yeah, so that must have been, <laughs> must have been a while ago. <laughs> Anyways, here's this guy, Petrified Heart. Oh, man. But when we went, how old am I? <laughs> I plead the fifth. I'm old enough to party, Francis. I'm still old enough to party. Um, <laughs> it's so bad. I'm going to be... I'm going to be 30 in April. I'm going to be 30. Hi, Stephanie. I saw your, um, <laughs> your speed dating video on um, Texas Gal Treasures. And I was like, oh, Stephanie, I couldn't believe that you did it. I was so happy for you. <laughs> Ah, yeah. So that was really fun. That was a fun experience watching all those people do that, like the big dating thing. Super cool. Okay. I've had this one for a while. I'm going to go ahead and assume that it's agate. However, I could be totally incorrect. 28, I was close. Um, yeah. Well, I'm just going to say, like, 25 forever. I still feel like I'm 17. I still, when I get bills, I'm like, don't people know that I'm not old enough to pay these me. bills? Like, <laughs> anyways, I've got this one. This is a natural stone pendant. Um, it's really cute, in my opinion. It's it's a beast. Right there. It's got a big enough bail on it. We'll do this one as a buy it now for $7. The magic word is square. Like, don't be a square. And it has red tiger's eye on the bottom. Some really nice chatoyancy. Square. It's fun. I would assume that it's like a banded agate. Some possibly kind of carnelian. 
That's pretty. Thank you, Francis. Too hip to be square. You're 51, Cody. Francis square. Thank you, Francis. My mom's going to be 50. In like three to four years. <laughs> In, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I think what, next year, mom, you're going to be 50? Forever 27, 28 next year. That's fine. I'll take that. And mentally is correct. Mentally is forever. Correct. Yeah. You are big mental. Mental. Yeah, next year, boo boo. Okay, I have this one, which is adjustable and it's really cute. It's got a zipper. It's a vintage necklace, in my opinion, because, you know, mine matters. Um, and it's adjustable. You move it up and down. I definitely don't feel like I'm 17, but mentally I do, if that makes sense. Um Uh, we're going to do this one as a buy it now. We'll do this one for five. Why not? It's really cute. I like it a lot. Total bolo, total adjustable. And it's got, it's not a loose, it's not loose at all. I'm going to do this as a buy it now. The magic word will be zipper. I think it's cute. And it's like got a lot of detailing on the zipper. Y'all, my grandma always said it doesn't matter what your age is. Age is just the number. And I really, truly believe that uh, because she kicked butt, you know, until the literal end. So, and she was, she was a kick-ass lady. So here's that zipper. I mean, honestly. You're like, what more should I add to my outfit? This. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was pretty much... I've got a lot of bone jewelry, guys. I think it's bone. I'm pretty sure it's bone. Um, I have no clue what to do with it. I don't know how to tell what kind of animal it, comes, it came from. Um, I just can tell you that it is bone. So I don't know. Um, I'm having a hard time with it. It's over there because it's gross to me. And I just, I know that sometimes, you know, it just depends on the person. But I just got no problem with chicken bones, fried chicken or rotisserie chicken bones because they be delicious. I do have some more rings if anyone wants to see any rings. I have rings in all shapes and sizes. Um, but I know that, I mean, for me, it makes sense that if, you know, you're going to utilize the animal to, if you're going to eat the animal meat and you're going to do, you know, make the, you know, with all that to just imagine necklaces made from chicken bones. Yeah. Um, that you use all every part of the animal like, like i can understand that like i get it it's totally okay um it's just still gives you gives me a bit of the willies so i have a lot i have this one i think this is cool i think this is cool um this is marked on the inside a l m um it's marked bronze thailand I have not tested this, but it's a honker. It's a bypass. It's adjustable. I would say it's sitting at like an eight and a quarter, almost a nine. Um, I have not tested this, but it says bronze and it says alm and it says Thailand on the inside. I'd be willing to part with this guy for $6. The magic word is, or the magic Thing to say if you want to purchase this item is A L M. Om. A L M. That's what it says in there. A L M. Yeah, it's pretty. She's thick. 
That's what it looks like on. Be a good one to, if you wanted to. <laughs> looks like a crescent roll. <laughs> yes. Yeah, huh? That's funny. So cool. All right. I got, I have this one, which is an agate. Butter is extra. You would say that. I said it, you didn't repeat it like that. You're justified now. I hope you feel justified. Somebody look at it. Someone pay attention to me. This one is a size eight. Um, and it's a beautiful like agate um, ring. And this is a buy it now for $10. The magic word is band, like rock band. Like I was around, obviously, when the first rock band came out. And so some songs that I hear, I'm just always like. <laughs> That's funny to me. Mollus is from rock band, but it's not because it's from the singer. But it is what it is. Um, <laughs> okay. Oh, I have this one. Um, this is a red jasper. This is not sterling silver. It's silver tone. However, it's marked 925, so it may be silver plated. Actually, just kidding. <laughs> the solder just busted on it. So now it's an adjustable one. <laughs> Yeah, well, this isn't for sale anyway. Thanks, Mom. Appreciate you, Sugar Pie. Just imagine if you were on there with her. Yeah, just imagine if you were on here with me, just making pure chaos. Um, I have 28 people in here with me, guys. Thank you so much for being in here with me. Um, do you want to do, like, does would anyone like me to curate a jar? And we can and we can bid on that. <laughs> I did that today um, on Lisa's channel. Was it a ceremony? No, it wasn't. No, it's not. It was um, plated. Stop it! I just go off on random tangents. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, let's see here. I know that probably this evening for those of you ha who have graciously purchased from me, which thank you so very much. Um, I will invoice probably this evening, probably right now after I get off, um, make it to a pendant. Yes, absolutely. All right, let's do a jar. Um, what do we have to stuff? All right, I'll do the same as I did before. This is a four by four by four. And let's put some of the stuff that, that's not gonna fit. This isn't gonna work. Trusty sir, can you hand me? I'm relevant. I'll just use this. I don't know. Aw, sorry. <laughs> oh, you did? Cody, let me know so I can hear your voice. <laughs> okay, let's do a jar. Let's start this with five. We got this one. We've got this one right here. Uh, we've got this one, which I showed earlier was 50 bucks. That's going in there. Let's see. We have this pendant. Glass. It's going in there. What else we got? This one also. Oh, the abalone one. It's going in there. This is a fun pendant. This is like a raptor. It's got like a chevron design on it. That's going in there. This is a really pretty. This has not been tested. Really pretty glass stones. Really pretty nice extender. That's going in there. This one's fun. All of my stuff is fun. <laughs> this has got Fleur de Lis and it's got um, hearts multi layer. Let's 
get back to business and down to business. Um, whoops, this is a silver tone um, bangle. Good night, Carol. <laughs> I'm about to head off to. I uh, got this, which is a wooden bracelet. Let's throw in a bunch of wooden bracelets. This one's really pretty. This is adjustable. It's uh, oriental, in my opinion. What? What a mystery. What a mystery. What are we at? Keeper of the the stuff. Nine dollars. All right. Let's throw in this is a um hook. Citrine and amethyst. Oh, uh citrine stretch. A natural stone chip necklace. Let's Get down to business. I love you. Yeah. And I'm like, what do I have around? <laughs> um, this is really cute. I my guess I'm not I'm not certain, but this is really cute. If this is native, I have tested this, this is not silver. That's my blind. We need to close our blinds. Um, 15. Oh, well, I'll put in this petrified heart. Throw in a butterfly. I don't know if I have a butterfly. <laughs> I'm like legit looking for a butterfly. Okay, um, this is cute. This is Mother of Pearl. Yeah, we'll throw in a can of soda. <laughs> No, <laughs> no. This one right here is like a dove. It's really pretty. It's made of all the puka or pua or some kind of shell, uh, rather. This is cool. This is an agate um, carved. Um, I just went ahead and tastefully made a bale out of it. We'll put you guys a like mangoes. <laughs> I'm putting a mango. Elijah had to be a part of it. <laughs> we have this natural stone <laughs> bracelet here. Let's throw in some sterling. You want to? Um, here we go. Make it a Corona. We only have Modelo. Sorry, we really only do have Modelo. However, I enjoy Corona very much, though. So. Um, I'll throw in a sterling silver cross with marcasites. Are you really? Grab the watermelon, too. I know. Yeah, there's the Modelo, a whole two. <laughs> I'll throw in a sterling silver band. What else we got? What else you got, girl? Tacos? Yeah, I got a half of a Togo sandwich in there. <laughs> this is a uh, gold tone bangle. Where's the good stuff? I don't know. Um, wow, we're at 31. Here is some um, tortoise shell. Uh, Inspired hook hooped. Aha, hoop earrings. Let's see. These are cute. These are mother of pearl, sunshine yellow. I keep telling Elijah that I want to watch hook. These are cute. These are like um poison A, ammonites, ammonites, ammonites. Well, who came in first? Okay. Let's throw in some uh, rainbow, rainbow, snowflake obsidian pillow. How are you today? This is one that I couldn't sell for the life of me, and I think this is gorgeous, but that's my, that's my fault because I think it's gorgeous. This one right here has some rhodonite, sterling silver, uh, sterling silver findings, glass beads. Let's see here. Ooh, here's some pyrite. Fool's gold. Here's an agate slice. I know, snowflake. What's going on with me? Um, mm -hmm. Ooh, this is cute. 
Um, this is, I just believe that it's like a dyed quartz, but it's Asian inspired. And um, I have yet to look up what it means. Here is a bundle O rocks. Let me add some more into it. Oh, blue tiger's eye. I'll add blue tiger's eye in here. Uh -huh. 41, Francis. 42, and, ooh, a druzy pendant. It's got a bail in there. Beautiful druzy. Ooh, this is legit. This is petrified wood in here. I know I gave you a heart earlier, but this one right here is the wood. Would you, could you? If I asked you, would you wanna? Let's get out some more tumble. Ugh. No, it's not really like that. Marcasites with no joke, really. This is um, amethyst. Put it in your little purple pouch. Uh, we've got some two tickets to paradise. Jasper. Bloodstone. I didn't know that. Hello. Hope you're well. Here's this. Here's the box or the bag thus far. Let's see. Let's throw some natural stones in here. Got some highlight. Oh, this one. This is a really pretty uh, rose quartz. Um, it's very light pink. And then you have your mother of pearl down here. A six pack of Modelo. Well, we only have two. Um, so sorry about that one. Let's add in serpentine, serpentine. There it is. Uh, here's this one. Which is a really pretty costume one. It makes me nervous to drink anymore. I don't, I mean, not like that, but this is um, Mother of Pearl. Oh, sorry. This is abalone. My apologies. Abalone. Um, let's see. Let's, we're already at 46. Let's throw in another sterling item. You wanna? Let's down to business. I know it is weird hearing the kids. Don't worry, I'll get on my phone and look up videos of them in just a moment. Here is a sterling silver little filigree pendant. 50, let's throw in another one. Let's throw in some earrings. Fabulous bag of goodies. I sure hope so. Okay, so we have these natural stone. My guess is they're mahogany uh, obsidian. They're really pretty. Oh, and they jump. These are sterling. And they're going in the back. This is really therapeutic, I'm not going to lie. I did it earlier, and it felt great. Let's throw in a... Fifty-five. We're gonna throw in a picture Jasper one there. How about a charm bracelet? Here it has dolphins, a cruise, a crab, a cruise ship. That'll go in there. Um, a mother of pearl bangle. That'll go in there. Ooh, this is cute. Um, this is like a southwestern, very girly. Um, it's got like a, a horse, horseshoe. That's going to go in there. Um, a money clip, because I hope this will make you money. Um, this is a, this says 925. I haven't tested this. This is a pretty heavy um, chain. <laughs> Throw in a costume ring. And oh, I found a butterfly. <laughs> There's a butterfly. <laughs> Thank you, Patty. 
Still here, Lynn. Here's a shell ring. Francis says she needs a chain to take it off. <laughs> I don't know if it's sterling. Um, but here we'll throw in, we'll throw in this massive guy. Okay. 57. You got it. <laughs> Let's see. We'll throw in one more piece. We'll throw in these. Um, okay. We'll throw in two. I lied. So we'll throw in these huge abalone earrings and then let's throw in one more because I'm because I am who I am. Yum, yum. This is a tree of life with natural stones. Okay, here we go. Yep. Everybody, this is the first time Elijah's calling oh, that? an auction. It's not? Well, live. Live, maybe. What's the dummy now? I am the <laughs> I just want to thank everyone so much for being here uh, with me tonight as I just <laughs> just flopped. Oh my gosh, we have Mr. Bob in at 60. Bob, we're gonna we're gonna throw in this Swarovski in here. I'm gonna throw in my glasses, my stretchy pants. <laughs> just kidding, but I am wearing stretchy pants. <laughs> Your pants, I changed my pants. <laughs> They're clean because I showered today. Oh, you know. Bob, I think I put fair warning as a second. So close, Bob. Killing it, though. This is so cute. I'm going to throw this in. This is a tiger's eye key. Cute. Um, I have. Bob is at 62. Bob was trying to get at my box earlier. <laughs> uh, more people to fight, huh? I have these. These are mosaic abalone. I'm going to toss these in here. These will be made. I meant to turn them into earrings, but you've seen how that goes. <laughs> cool. There you go, Bob. <laughs> cool. All right, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Oh my goodness, I'll throw in a little Scotty dog charm. Is it it's it, not. Oh, it's no, sorry. Uh, it was not all my brooches are articulated. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is a cute little brooch. It's a natural stone. I'm really finding a whole bunch of stuff I've hidden away in here. So this is great. All right. I'll throw these in. I remember helping them out much You're okay, Elisha. You're, saying, you're doing have, so good. I may not be a rookie. We'll throw these earrings in. You're doing it, champ. All right, I'm going to throw this zipper one in because I think you meant 68. <laughs> this bag is banging. Sue's at 70. All right, Sue. Cody says this bag is banging. Hey, she's my wife. <laughs> what a thing to say. Um, These are not what I thought they were. <laughs> Thanks, Francis. These are Monet. I will throw these in there. <laughs> he needs them. Oh, these are some clip-ons. Why not? Ooh, I'm going to throw some. I'm going to throw these in there. I thought these were so cute. Um, these are Kenneth Cole. They're the front and back earrings. Um, you'll never lose your back. Ugh. There it is. If I weren't challenged enough, here you go. Oh, 
All right. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Here's some natural stone earrings I'll throw in here. Maybe. These are not the ones you are looking for. There they are. So Bob's at 75 and Sue's at 77. Oh, okay. Alpaca. There it is. Alpaca. Honkin earrings. Copper earrings. Clip on earrings. Don't be ooh. Bling bling. Bling bling. Bling bling. Bling bling. Ooh, these hoops. Hoops. These are cute. These to me scream vintage, but they're so cute. If my hair wasn't red already right now. Dang it. Oh, this one is stamped Mexico. However, it is acid tested and is not sterling silver. So my guess is that it's alpaca. But I'm not going to listen there. Um, where are we at, Chief? All right. There it is. Let me weigh it. I don't need the grams. Four pounds, 4.6 ounces. Hi, Jonathan. I'm making another bag. <laughs> what do you do with your, what do your bone necklaces look like? Kathy, if you'd like to see him, I'll have my husband get up out of his chair because I'm going to tell you, I'm wearing shorty shorts and your girl shouldn't be wearing them to begin with. Uh, so I'm not going to get up. So. Can you hand me all that bone jewelry, dog? Any craft lots tonight? No. You wiped out my craft lots, but trust me, I'm getting stuff in. Those. Those. Sue's out. Jonathan's at 80. <laughs> Jonathan's some good stuff in here. All right. Here's, here is one bone necklace. Thank you, good sir. Oh, will you hand me just um, some more of that? There's stones, there's chains. Hand me all of those in that one. The one you just had your hand on. Not the stones, because I was putting that there because I'm going to use it. The one before it. I have all these. Yeah, give me those. Thank you. Oh man. You're the one I did. All right. Let me, let me just add a little bit more um, necklaces to this. Um, all these necklaces. They're going to go in. Okay. So while that's there, I'll show you Le Bon bone necklaces. So this, I mean, look at that. I'm thinking... My mom looked at this one. She thought that it was bone, but we're not, you know, we're not experts or anything. So this is one right here. I know I'm not done. I'm just going to show really quick, <laughs> really quick. This one right here is this piece for sure is bone. This piece right here. They look like those um, Nako wafers, Nako, Neko. 
Jonathan Ty bid at 80. And then this guy right here. I mean. Those are my bones. Okay, so this is okay. Let's make it. Let's make it five pounds even. Yeah. What do we got? Beautiful agate. We're sitting at 80. I feel like I should stop putting stuff in here. <laughs> I zipped it up. Keep going. <laughs> you already got the first one earlier, Jonathan. <laughs> We're at five pounds even. Five pounds. <laughs> five pounds even on that. Yes. Your girl makes some good lots, yo. Yo. Thanks, guys. I'd say so. You doing it? You got it. Thanks, Jonathan. Came in the perfect time again. <laughs> All right. Cool, cool, cool. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so um, you've seen my bones. <laughs> And that's that's pretty much that's pretty much all I got. I'm gonna be on tomorrow with Jenny Gems on her channel. It's gonna be everything but jewelry. So if you're um, <laughs> lightning struck today twice, oh that's so nice. <laughs> um, so if uh, you're interested in any of that, um, I will have my stones on there tomorrow. I will have some random tchotchkes or bric-a-brac or whatever non-offensive term for decor. <laughs> um, so there's that. Um, it'll be tomorrow. Hecka early my time. Yo, I got to like get up at probably like seven o'clock in the morning, have my coffee before the children wake up and <laughs> be able to go on with Jenny at eight o'clock. So um, it's going to be fun. It's noon their time, eight o'clock my time here. So um, anyways, don't be, uh, you know, definitely check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching and spending time with me during this crazy, fun, impromptu event. I appreciate every single one of you and hope that you have a wonderful evening and a pleasant week. Well wishes to everybody. I'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye, guys.